Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, it has been insane at work, so I'm really trying to push through for you guys. Anyways, today I'm here to do a review on Patrick Star's new concealer, One Size, One Size Fits All. And that being said, we're just gonna dive right in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a first impression and a wear test, so I'm probably gonna wear it at least eight hours. It's 11 a.m., I know, crazy. I'm doing this during my lunch break. I'm like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. let's get it done. So that being said, I am sure on time, baby. Let's go, let's roll. Uh, it's called the Turn Up Base Butter Silk Concealer. This retails for $25, not too bad. Mm, I mean, it's, it's up there, but I've paid more or concealer. So it's like, it's medium-ish. I need to do more drugstore brands. So a little bit about this concealer. It's a soft focus, medium to full, buildable coverage, multi-use concealer, helps smooth and cover unwanted texture, uneven tone, and the appearance of dark circles. Hello, goodbye. With the highly pigmented hydrating formula, buttery smooth, blendable application, natural finish, and all day wear. Sorry, the big dog texted me. So I got the shade light three with neutral, so light three N, and they have, I wanna say, uh, 32 different shades. So there is a huge shade range that's always exciting. Um, it says it's waterproof, best for oily combo, normal skin, cruelty free, vegan, uh, long wearing and full coverage. Um, some highlighted ingredients, there's caffeine, avocado, exclusive peptide Ben. So there's some good skincare in there, which is always nice. It says that it also does not cake, crease or transfer. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna prime my face real quick and then we will apply this concealer, see how it applies and go from there. Okay, so we're gonna dive right in. Like I said, this is the applica This is the applicator, curved tip. Doesn't smell like anything, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start painting my face. What? Shut up! I mean, did you see that spot treatment or the spot concealer? That is incredible. Let's do the rest. Okay, so first impressions. This blends out very beautifully into the skin. It does not look cakey or creasy thus far and I have not set it. I'm gonna add another layer. It is definitely more medium coverage, so I'm gonna add another layer, see how that works out, and then give you my first impression. I definitely need another shade. This is pulling way too yellow on me. This is not, I don't think this is a neutral. Okay, here is round two. It applied on top of it beautifully. Did not get weird or distort or move around the previous layer. So we're gonna just set it and do the rest of my face and see how this turns out. Be back with a full face of makeup. Yeah. Woo! Okay guys, I am back at it. Oh my God, back at it again. In the kitchen whipping no weapon in France. I'm my crazy, they back at it again. Okay, so what did I think as a first impression for Patrick Star's One Size Concealer? So far, my concealer is looking really good. It does look very skin-like, um, does have a matte finish, does look like it is hydrating the skin, blends in beautifully with the makeup, um, beautifully with the skin. You cannot tell the difference. I love that. More medium coverage, so be mindful of that. If you are looking for that full coverage, you will have to add another layer. Okay. Um, no creasing at all, but I am gonna do a wear test to see how this lasts during the day when I'm running around like a crazy person. And I will give a check-in in about eight hours, uh, just a snippet of what it looks like, how it's worn, um, is it breaking down or is it holding up pretty well? And is it really 
long wearing transfer proof. We will see. All right, see ya in a bit. Bye guys. Hello. It's been nine hours since I put on this concealer and what do I think? So as I kind of went through the first impression, I liked it, it was impressive. Um, definitely nothing there. As I'm wearing it nine layers throughout the day, um, I have not noticed it breaking apart or wearing off anywhere. There is really little to none of it creasing. Um, waterproof, I'm not sure, but it did hold up really well. Um, it still does look very skin-like. It is not cakey, but there is a touch of creasing under the eyes, but it is super hot and humid out, so this honestly is holding up, like, beautifully. Like, the humidity as is, is at 100%. It is like 100 degrees, and I've been running around like a maniac, sweating like no other, and I didn't even get to work out. Like I was, and I've been cleaning, like it's just been a very physical, rigorous day. So honestly, this is holding up very, very well. Um, I really do like the product. I think the shade range is great. I think the hydrating benefits are awesome. If it really is waterproof, even better. I'm kind of here for one star in, their, in his products. Like, they're legit. They're so legit. Um, thank you for watching this. That's all that I have. I don't want to take up any more of your time with the bullshit. So be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button down below. Say hi. Ah. And until the next one. Bye, guys. Pop the bottle, get it, yeah, bye. Be the all night. And you wanna get the kid down here. And I wanna run a whiskey 